All right, so we're asked to multiply the radicals, but they don't have the same indices. So they have indices of 7 and 3, and the lowest common multiple of 7 and 3 is 21. So we can go ahead and multiply everyone in the first um, indice, um, you know, the powers in the indice by 3, and the second one by 7. So we get the 21st root of 2 cubed, a cubed, and b to the 12th. So keep in mind that 7 times 3 is 21, so everybody in the inside has to be raised to the third power as well. So when we're raising a power to power, remember it's multiplication. Um, so 2 was 2 to the first, and 1 times 3 is 3. And then the second one, everybody gets multiplied. Well, the powers get multiplied by 7. So we get 20, the 21st root of 4 to the 7th. Again, 4 is just 4 to the 1st, and 1 times 7 is 7. A to the 14th, and B to the 7th. So if they don't already have powers, the power is 1, so you're just multiplying 1 by whatever num the number is. Combining them, uh, we get 2 cubed. Now 4 is actually 2 squared, um, so I'm going to write it up here. 4 is equal to 2 squared, so I'm going to substitute 4 with 2 squared, and, and it will hopefully make sense in a minute. And then we get a to the 17th, so we're adding exponents now since we're multiplying the bases, and b to the 19th, 12, time, 12 plus 7 is 19, 14 plus 3 is 17, okay. Um, so this uh, 2 squared to the 7th can be simplified, um, so we're going to have the 21st root of 2 cubed, this is going to be 2 to the 14th power. And now I can put all of the 2's together and I'm going to get the 21st root of 2 to the 17th, a to the 17th, and b to the 19th. 